everyone. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. I thought I would, I'm in the middle of grooming Miggy. Just got to do his belly and his face and he's all done. I've already got Mozzie right here and Milo who just ran to the front room. Got him done. So I've got four more dogs to do. Uh, not doing them today. <laughs> I've only been doing one dog a day. Yes. So I thought I'd hop on today um, after my last Let's Chat video. A lot of people wanted to know about this uh, schnauzer over the fireplace. This is the uh, piece of, I guess you'd call it metal artwork uh, that Emily sent to me. So this is me. Uh, so a lot of people wondered if it was a decal. It's actually made of metal. Um, I sat it there because I was going to hang it on the wall. Um, but I just didn't think it looked right. And then I was like, I, I'm going to paint these walls soon. Um, probably in the spring, I'm going to paint these walls. Um, so I didn't want to hang it on the wall and I wasn't really sure about it being on the wall. So I sat it here above the fireplace and I think it looks great. <laughs> um, I've got a lot of my other Schnauzer statues that I've been sent by you guys, some signs I've had made, signs I've bought, some pictures um, of the boys and I think it looks perfect. <coughs> Sorry guys, the squirrels are going nuts out here. Did he run away? We had a somewhat of a ice storm yesterday. Um, it was nasty weather yesterday. So the squirrels have been trying to dig the peanuts out on their little picnic table because they were buried with ice and the dogs have been going nuts. Yes, they have. So I think it looks great there. So I do not know where Emily got it from. Um, I'm thinking maybe Etsy. Uh, not sure, but I love it. And I think it, I think it looks perfect there. So I think it, that's where it's going to remain. So also wanted to share, um, the doggy play pen that we got for Grant. Since you guys couldn't see it in the last video, a lot of people were wondering what it looked like. Uh, it's made out of plastic, has a little door here. Um, so when I put them in there, um, this is the washable pee pad. Um, it has a backing on it see backing here so if your dog pees on it, it it absorbs it and it won't go through the pad um we also have an orthopedic bed in here for him if you hear a noise going it's my humidifier it's going on and off um in the background there but this is where i put him only um if he wakes up in the middle of the night and doesn't want to go back to sleep <laughs> so that way i can go to sleep um so that's the only time he goes in here. But as you can see with Miggy in there, you can see that he has plenty of room to move around and pace. Um, like I said, he paces a lot due to his uh, canine cognitive dysfunction. Um, so plenty of room to move around, a bed to lay on, and the washable pee pad in case of an accident, which he has not had an accident. And plus this also... Makes it so he's not on the uh, vinyl flooring, too. Um, gives him traction. And if he lays on the floor, too, it's uh, soft and not just on the vinyl floor. So um, it's worked out perfect um, for me and him. <laughs> like I said, with his canine cognitive uh, dysfunction, he paces a lot, gets stuck in corners a lot. Um, and this just keeps him safe while I'm trying to get a couple extra hours of sleep. And it gives us plenty of room still to get through here because I was putting a gate here and a gate here and blocking him inside here, but then the kitties couldn't get to their kitty tree. And Kitten here loves to sleep in this kitty tree and he was very upset. So <laughs> they can still get to their kitty trees and Grant has a, a big enough space for him. So. That has worked out great. Um, also wanted to share with you um, the canned pumpkin I'm giving the boys. A lot of people said that doesn't it 
get all over in their beards. Yes. <laughs> the first time I gave Grant the canned pumpkin, I thought, I can't do this every time he eats because I'm going to have to wash his face every time he eats. His face was bright orange. <laughs> and he hates his face to be washed. And I'm like, this is not going to work. So let me show you what I did to solve that problem. All right, to solve the problem of the canned pumpkin getting all over Grant's face, I went out and purchased this um, ice cube tray that makes smaller ice cubes. It's not the regular size ice cube tray. There's a little bit smaller, about half the size. You can see it's stained from the pumpkin. It's clean, it's just stained. Um, so I decided to freeze the pumpkin. Um, cause I know Grant will eat frozen treats, the yogurt frozen treats I make. Um, so I freeze the canned pumpkin into, um, little ice cubes. So I put about four of these, um, little ice cubes in with his breakfast and dinner. And that's how I've been getting canned pumpkin, him to eat canned pumpkin without it being a mess in his beard. <laughs> um, yeah, so some of you may have already thought of that trick, but I thought I would share it just in case. So I've got to finish grooming Mickey. As you can see, I've got my grooming table here um, and everything set out. I'm gonna finish grooming him and uh, clean up and disinfect everything. And then I will try to get some videotape of Grant because you guys haven't seen him in a while. So he's sleeping right now. So uh, once he's up, we'll get some video so you can see how he's doing. Are you too comfortable? Are you too comfortable in your little beds? Huh? <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I almost forgot to mention uh, that Milo does not have an ear infection. Uh, if you watched my video, my last video, I mentioned I had to take Milo to the vet to get his ear checked out because I thought he might have an ear infection. He, This ear, his right ear, was kind of red and inflamed on the inside. And Miggy kept licking at his ear, <laughs> so wanted to get it checked out. Um, so took him, and she said, nope, there's no sign of an ear infection. That it did look a little red and inflamed. Um, she said, has he been itching at it? And I do recall him itching at it slightly. So she said, because we all know if you've been watching my videos for a while, Milo has terrible allergies. Um, he just recently at the end of last year had a terrible rash on this side of his body that we had to deal with. Um, so she said to, um, cause he takes Apoquil now. He, I did try him with the Cytopoint injection didn't work for him, so we put him back on the Apoquil. She said instead of giving him one tablet a day to up it to two tablets for the next two weeks. Um, and she also sent me home with this ear cleanser. Um, as you can see, it's uh, it cleanses, has a drying agent in it, anti-inflammatory. Um, so she said to do that once a week. Um, since it did have a little inflammation just on the out, just on the very outside part of his ear in here, just a little bit. It's not as red today. It's looking almost normal again. Yes. And boy, let me tell you, Milo did not like me putting this in his ear. <laughs> he was giving me the schnauzer stink eye. Weren't you, Milo? You did not like it. <laughs> At least you only got to do it once a week. For the next couple of weeks yeah um so so yeah so he hasn't been messing with it at all today uh miggy has not been wanting to lick it anymore um it was weird too because when he had that skin rash here on his side miggy was licking that too so i don't know dogs got good sniffers i don't know that's why i thought maybe he had an ear infection in his ear i thought maybe he could smell something going on but i don't know i don't know what that was all about so these two are so cute. <laughs> Usually Marley has his leg hanging out too. It's funny. These two are the only ones that do that where they have their leg hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> so just wanted to mention, Milo did not have an ear infection. All right.
Grant has been sleeping for a long time, so I went and woke him up. And I'm gonna carry him outside because it's, it's icy out. But let me let these noisy dogs out. Hold on. Okay, I got the other boys out. I don't know if you guys could even hear me. <laughs> Their loudness. But it's very icy out. So I'm gonna um, try not to fall myself. And go sit Grant down so he doesn't fall. It's starting to get a little slushy because it's warmed up today. Um, okay, let's put Grant down. He's been sleeping. He's been sleeping for quite a while. So he's probably got to go pee. He already went number two earlier. Um, hopefully he doesn't try to go right back up on the porch. It's, the dogs are having a tough time with this um, snow. Oh, there he goes. He's going pee. Um, the snow is like, well, it's starting to, it's like they're walking on top of the snow. And Magnum did not like that this morning at all. <laughs> He would not do his business forever. Well, it looks like Grant's gonna walk around. Grant needs to get groomed really bad too. But I always wait and do him last so I can take my time and all that with him because it usually takes a day or two to get him done. Plus, see, he's trying to, he's trying to do his little hippity hoppity run on this icy snow. <laughs> Let's see if we can follow him out here. It's hard to walk on this snow feet like keep falling into the snow breaking through the ice oh my goodness at least it's not cold though I mean it's cold but it's not cold if you know what I mean I think it got up to 40 today yeah oh I think he's gonna do his business he's gonna do a number two so we'll take that off camera well that's good good job Grant good job He's still having uh, normal number twos, thankfully. That's why I've been giving him the pumpkin, in case anybody was wondering. Um, puts a little extra fiber in his diet. <laughs> I've never looked at the poop and watched my dog's poop as much as I have in the past couple weeks due to Miggy ah! having his pancreatitis and great having his. Ah! I've been watching everyone's poop like very closely. <laughs> oh my goodness. Making sure everybody does poop. Making sure everybody's poop is normal. So, yeah, but he slept for quite a while. Um, I swear he was asleep maybe three hours. Yeah, you were asleep like three hours. Yes, you were. Sorry, you guys can probably see the... Yeah, now he's going to go smell it. <laughs> You can see the number twos very easily on the white snow. Max, you just slid. You just slid on the ice. Yeah, so just thought I'd uh, take Miggy. Look what he's bringing. Me. He just thought I'd get Grant on camera. Um, so everybody could see him, see how he's doing. Need to brush his face. He's been sleeping so long I haven't been able to brush his face today. But I'm probably going to have to help him back up the stairs. So, uh, last night he was really confused with the snow and the ice. He kept wandering over here, I think, thinking the stairs were over there. Um, so my husband had to go out and get him. <laughs> but it was really coming down. It was kind of, couldn't see good. And I think all the white, because he doesn't have the best sight either, I think all the white really confused him. I was trying to keep the porch um, shoveled off, but well, he looks like he wants to still wander around a bit over there. I don't know if you guys see him over there by the fence. So, all right, guys, just wanted to give a little glimpse of Grant since he's always sleeping when I film. And um, let you know how he's still doing. He's doing good. Um, so we'll see you guys 
in the next video. Miggy, I don't think you want to run on this uh, icy snow. Ah! He's like, yes, I do. Yes, I do. And you're going to tease Milo with the frisbee. Yeah, you're going to tease Milo. All right, I'll throw it. All right, let's see. Well, I guess he don't care. <laughs> He's like, Mom, I'm, I'm walking on top of it. What's it matter? <laughs> Milo's jealous. He wants the frisbee too. He's jealous. You always, you're faster than him. Yes. All right, guys. <laughs> Guess we'll stay out here until Grant wants to go in. Oh, look at that. We'll stay out here until Grant wants to go in. All right, guys. Where is Grant? There he is. All right. Talk to you guys again soon. Bye-bye.